they did it to us too. Like we have, we've got a 50 cows on our vehicles and they're like, well, we need a less lethal round. That doesn't exist. That's the point. Of- There's no such thing as a less lethal round. A round is a round and it's going to kill you if, it, if you shoot it at a person. So they were like, um, go with the 240s, which is a smaller machine gun. Uh, go with the saw. That's an even smaller machine gun. Like, well, you purely because of the, the optics of what it yeah. looks like to have a 50 cal and you're blowing people away. Yeah. You're, but these you look people too are good. But these people are putting 500 pound bombs in the ground. Right. Yeah. You want me to look oh. less threatening when they're trying to blow me off, literally off the face of the earth. Wow. This brings up a good point, though, because you have people like AOC, Pelosi, um, Schumer that are starting wars and they're rattling their sabers to go to war. And these are the same people that have never been to war. They've never seen what yep. a bombing run does to a village or, you know, what a, a rifle round will do. And they're the ones that are setting the rules. They're the ones saying they'll get their reports and say, oh, oh, the Marines did that. Uh, we can't let that happen. It's bad optics. And then they they destroy the whole unit morale. And, yep. and the- What is your feeling on uh, drone strikes? Because we were talking about this yesterday with the detachment of really everything in our Western culture of control yep. to the point where in war, we're now sending drones, which is like, it has a guy that's hundreds of miles away. Vegas. Blasting people yeah. away. The guys, the guys who do that, they're in Vegas. And that brought up a really, we had a whole discussion with a buddy of mine because he was thinking that these guys need combat action badges and decorations. Mm. And I agreed to a point, but I said the amount of therapy these guys and girls are going to have to have because there's an attachment. Mm-hmm. You're like driving a drone, you're looking at a screen, it's like drop that bomb here. But then the moment you find out, right. you just park that warhead on some like about on that guy's forehead right. from thousands of miles away. You're detached from it, like or a wedding party, or a wedding, or someone driving, yeah, right. Obama, I, I yep. that's a whole different screw job of the mind that I don't think I'm prepared to deal with. Like, yeah. at least I can see you to shoot you because you're shooting at me, and I'm okay with that. Mutual combat, I won, right. I got you, shit to do tomorrow. You obviously didn't want to have things to do tomorrow, so I did what I had to do. Yeah. I'm in Vegas, so that means, like, I do this, and then I just go on a lunch break? Yeah. yeah <laughs> lots or something. Is there a part of that, though, where, like, okay, we go into Nam, you're dealing with uh, Viet Cong, or you go, in, yeah. like we said, kamikaze fighters, or you're dealing with certain people who, like, they play by different rules. Like, yeah. other countries torture people, you know. Uh, yeah. So, I mean... If we're if we're able to protect our citizens or or at least our military, is it good to have those? It, well, I mean, and I'm not saying that I'm not defending it. I'm just right. wondering because sitting in Vegas is weird. Like I feel like you should yeah. be somewhere near or something. Yeah. I don't know. Something just seems <laughs> odd if you are just like you're just sitting at yeah. Caesars and you know, like, you're just playing a slot and you're like, and also and goodbye. Death. Yes, <laughs> you know. I don't know. It, you got to think of it. So I, I wrestle with this all the time because all the videos coming out of those um, low tech drones dropping yeah. grenades on people out in in yeah. uh, the Ukraine right now. And uh, I don't know. You want your army to. Uh, overwhelm with uh, uh, excessive force, I don't know, with overwhelming force to take out another country. You want them to say, it's a bad idea to mess with these people. And if you're droning a car, truck, or whatever, and that saves American lives, then then that's what you want to do. But in the same sense, you then look at, you had mentioned Obama, what he was doing. He droned more people than than we know. And where does that go? Autonomous drones? Are autonomous drones going to be flying around here and then taking people out? Because, I don't know, they're associated with the wrong type of speech. The wrong, I mean, I, I'm going down a dystopian future, but yeah. still, you yeah. have to draw the line somewhere. Or just so. the future. Yeah, <laughs> or just next week. Well, what do you yeah. do with, when <laughs> we're not the only ones that are doing it? You have two different forces that are droning each other. Well, mm-hmm. just wait. I mean, don't we? Right, yeah. Or Russia, we're going to start. That's seeing what we're seeing. Like yeah. That. yeah, we lose integrity, though, don't we? <sighs> yeah, in a way. <laughs> I mean, a long time ago. as odd as it sounds. But I mean, if you have people, I mean, you have World War II vets and you watch a lot of those interviews where they just see America now. Mm-hmm. It's these older people crying and a lot of the responses like, oh, whatever, this old man who doesn't know. And it's like, but he fought for a country that he believed in and the freedoms of that country. And he's watching it being taken away. And like he believed in a certain kind of combat and fairness. And yep. and I guess you can't rely on that, I guess, on your enemy. But should America be held to a higher standard or does it would that actually end in our defeat 